Um, <laughs> that said, Demon Dice has been put on the map selection, all right? We can see the custom lobby. We can see it is the right map right now. So Terrific. as soon as the players ready up, we should be good to go uh, in this one, which I, I, I'll be excited to get back out there. I want to kick this grand final off. I want to make sure people go to bed at a reasonable hour, especially if they're sick. All right, then doubly so. Mm. Zarelli has wound up as like team captain, so kind of waiting for it. There it is. All right, we're going in queue. We're going into this. What awakenings do you want to see? Not tempo swing. Mm. That's the only awakening I care about on Demon Dice. As soon as tempo swing appears on this map, it just it just evolves. It doesn't become a Mega Strikers anymore. Um, I'm I'm personally a big fan of those core control games. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just see. Uh, looks like Monk is hovering the era and Toshi just wants to play the Zentara. Yeah, we'll see what they get though. Ban, I mean, we're only gonna get one side's bans hovers. We won't be able to see both obviously, but it looks like getting rid of the Vice goalkeep is gonna be the play right now for ATM, uh, which isn't too surprising. And yes, you called it. Ahmed's AI me, not gonna be allowed to play this one, which will force out, yeah, the Kai. I would think Kai or Estelle would kind of be the pickup Kai makes more sense probably more popular in a map like this i would assume I, i'm asking you i need confirmation on that one but um honestly i i have no idea um <laughs> kai i remember wasn't a very good pick back in the back in the day um but maybe maybe the the players have evolved enough that kai is just an amazing goalie in this map um I, kai is definitely very good at uh outputting damage and keeping damage on targets as well he's very good at peppering uh which i think might be a key point to see the double kai matchup well we will see because again yeah two guy cold keeps when it's on the forge where things kind of differentiate a bit Centaro and era going oh. up against an x and a finny I feel like the X Vinny can be a little bit more oppressive unless, of course, you know, that Centaur really gets cooking. It feels like our red side, you know, LGBZ, they're a lot more early game, whereas if we get to that fourth, oh. that fifth set, that's where we could really see, you know, ATM come alive. Yeah, absolutely. And and you can already tell from the starting awakenings that this is going to be a damage focused game. Knife's Edge and Heavy Impact <laughs> coming out. Um, this is, yeah, this, this is going to be one of those games, one of those Demon Dice games. Knife's Edge on a goalie, though, where the barrier is in the middle. I'm a little bit confused by that one, uh, the selection from Ahmed right there. Obviously, better player than I, so I'm going to trust what they're cooking, but what they're cooking right now is Barrage is looking for the goal. Ahmed playing so far forward, it unfortunately does not work out. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing really, really good defense again. Uh, I I've said this so many times now, but I'm just going to say it again. LGBZ have this amazing triple goalie comp that is just literally shut through by Torchy with a dash and a click. Uh, simple as that, really. Yeah, the Zentaro doing Zentaro things. It has that charge strike and able to use it effectively. I always get nervous when I see the Zarelia sitting back, but you're calling this X a goalie now. Is that is that where we've evolved to, like, within the past two weeks? Oh, man, X goalie. Come on, it's Demon Dice. X goalie, live it up. <laughs> X goalie. This is where we saw the infamous Octavia goalie way back when before as well. Like, it, it feels like this map just brings out unorthodox goal keeps. And while Triple Z, again, they're going to have to, you need to keep everyone back. Core flip oh. open net on. Um, Man, makes it 2-0. You can just see, uh, Zentaro started that round with uh, no elusive, and he just couldn't build up elusive fast enough, and he was KO'd. But Armored managed to uh, actually just use the move speed from Knife's Edge and uh, secure the goal there. So, yeah, yeah. definitely better players than us. <laughs> so, yeah, took two goals of me questioning, you know, the Knife's Edge selection before it starts to pay off, and. Now we're starting to see more and more of that damage come through for ATM. In fact, there's going to be a KO on the back end. Zinnia still is going to get that first barrier. However, with the power play, you can't imagine to turn around. It's Ahmed again, forcing it through. What, what do you call those things on the side right there? I, I'm sure they have like a specific name, but... Um, reverbs, I guess? Yeah, yeah, okay. They're well. a pretty good one to call it. Um, I'm not actually sure what to call it. Uh, yeah. We can actually see here that um, ATM is building a somewhat sizable advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. Just being 2-0 and just generally being ahead. But what we also have to realize is that X is one of the highest scaling characters in the game. Um, I think it's I think it's actually quite common for teams with X to lose the first hit only for X to get a couple good awakenings and just take the game into his own hands. Can't this said be said about like Zentaro as well though? Like I Absolutely. always kind of consider Zentaro to be like the scaling Juliet in a sense. Absolutely. 
Uh, and a map like Demon dies as well, really anything in Apple. Uh, a quick KO coming from the, the Feeny X combo. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that up top. Zarelia able to finish with that swinging strike. And now Ahmed again is going to push forward in the power play. Has the eject button. Nothing too crazy. Torshi has to be a bit careful, though. Is on the precipice of being taken out. And you can see Zarelia just <laughs> looking for an avenue to get on him. And there's the swing. Not going to make contact as Monkey goes ahead and dribbles to themselves. Zinnia is going to break that up. The card misses. So the pass will come through that lower end. Torchy just gets rid of Zenesis's oh. escape. And now Torchy tries to dive in. The strike board won by Zenesis the first time. Torchy can't finish it with the second touch and this is where it gets real dicey when uh, both barriers are down and it's an overtime any anything can really get this core in uh especially on a map like demon dice we see um armin is very very close to call flip here we'll see if it can use the play defensively a little bit aralia also has her own core flip so uh we'll need to see how the situation develops yeah here we go two core flips up and already armin looking for ways forward the first core flip is going to be used defensively by zarelia it does get around torchy who gets nearly staggered once again now zarelia is going to start to try and close down i think on that top half of the pitch armin hasn't really felt confident enough to push forward yet is actually saving that core flip the giga blast nearly sneaks it through as monk doesn't oh. get the shot zarelia also gets a ko on two well oh. the zentaro doesn't matter the goal's already found zinnia keeping lgbz alive in this first set yeah just uh not losing focus in that extremely i, th I think that set was like three minutes long um but zinnia not losing the strike cause it's what she's built for and um just scoring the goal like that a really nice opening goal for, you know, LGBZ to get back on it. They'll also get the first barrier strike as well. Zinnia straight through traffic, finds the second unfortunate bounces for ATM as the core slowly rolls towards their net. Monk will catch it, but Zarelia is about to put the pressure on. I don't know if the special's available, but it might not matter because the pass plays are coming through. Torchy has to use their own to intercept. Really nice defensive maneuvers coming out from that Centauro, just using all of his abilities to try and defend the core, especially his ultimate as well. Uh, that can be a, a, a possibly troll ability to use in your own half, but he just did it perfectly. Uh, we see LGBZ continuing on the pressure here, just uh, Feeny X, and uh, as soon as they get cooldowns back up here, they're gonna go for they're gonna go straight back for damage, and you can just see it here now uh, how much damage they're uh, available to output, and um, yeah, ATM just getting forced under the pressure at the moment. I love how synergized the two forwards of Zinnia and Zarelia has been. Torchy's kind of been forced on the back foot just because of the low stagger, because of that pressure. And that's not really where the Zentaru wants to be. Monk was that more forward member, but now they're going to be able to swap it up. And that's probably going to help out ATM as they look for Torchy. Tries to cross oh. up top, doesn't hit it. Maelstrom, though, forces Zarelia actually to burn their evasiveness. And Torchy's going to start looking for that KO. Pass down to Torchy, keeps it low, wanted the empowered strike, but doesn't get it. We can just we can just see how long Torchy is staggered for. Oh, oh, and a really nice primary by Zania, just threading the needle into the demon angle. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, that was a good shot right there. So LGBZ, they drop two goals, but they come back right now. Very pivotal point. To see who's going to get this first set in again. It should be worth noting. ATM selected this map, so the expectation would be for them to win it out. But you can kind of steal one away right now if you're on LGBZ. So yeah, it's really. Uh, that first set, but that's a big KO. Kai actually using all of his abilities to keep the X low. Uh, got the KO for them there. That was a really, really good aggressive goalieing. Uh, and now they can just play with this 2v3 advantage that they have. Zinnia is actually forced out of the play as well. She's so low and she has no elusive. So as soon as Torchy's cooldowns back up, she's just going to go straight back to Zinnia. And you can really see all the abilities being hammered through now. Just the amount of pressure that they can generate. Ooh. Oh, Genesis is staggered. Can't make the save. And that's going to do it. First set goes to ATM. Really, really nice play from Ahmed there. Just keeping the X low into the stagger and then that KO just snowballs the game out of control. Yeah, that was really well done by ATM to kind of recover. Now, first oh. pick on this guy. I'm seeing stacks on stacks. I'm seeing specialized training. Egos as well, where are you going? It's going to be the specialized training. Oh, they get, they have to give X the tempo. Uh, this is this is really, that was a really rough draft for uh, ATM. I think they yeah, can't I... deny perfect form, tempo swing, and specialized training from the X, and they get a double on the on the two and three as well. Wow, that's really rough. Also, the reverberation actually following all the way down to Genesis. I think that could be of note because we've seen Genesis targeted a little bit, so that little bit of extra stagger might help. Monk as well with the stacks on stacks. As long as they don't KO to actually, it's going to be the fastest player on the pitch by a considerable margin. But you can see already Zarelia, you know, with that extra power, with that extra damage, just abusing Ahmed early in this next set. Yeah, I mean, she was taken to like almost no HP at the start of the start of the game, and then a primary and a dash and an ulti later, she's back at full health. Um, 
It is really unfortunate that Tempo Swing got taken by uh, LGBZ from the side of ATM, but it just means it's oh. okay. They just need to play better. Uh, and even though they are staggered, they, they are holding on. No. Oh, they are not. And look at how low Torchy is as well. Zorelius oh. is on a rampage right now. There's the third oh. KO. It's an ace for the first goal. <laughs> yeah, Tempo Swing Heavy Impact X, perfect form taken away from the Zentara. This, this, this is going to be a rough one. So do you take away the tempo swing as opposed for going for the specialized training? Because I feel like specialized training would make Zarelia just as dangerous. Well, that's that's what's so hard about that draft is that even if you take Ooh. away ST, they can still take perfect form or te or, or tempo swing. <laughs> if you take tempo swing away from them, you don't have a good awakening and they have ST and perfect form. Um, that was a really, really cursed draft. But um, I mean, it, it looks like it looks like they're playing on. They're soldiering on. I mean, um, they got that early KO off from the sorry it was the maelstrom founding it's marks really has also been staggered but torchy can only do so much oh because instead of being God. asked to kind of keep the pressure and go for the ko second barrier does fall Monk have it down low can't get the pass up it'll be ahmed up to torchy caught by the giga blast but still found his strike and now looking to corral it back around torchy in traffic doesn't get the strike because of the core flip now you get you know the finny special in the middle of it all torchy beaten up has to retreat you would think yeah, uh, you can really see the difference in Torchy's playstyle, just immediately adapting. They, they realize they can't force damage onto X anymore, and uh, mm. he's saving his abilities for core control and shoving. Well, here we go. Monk has the core flip right now, so if they can get that core to the arrow, it could create something. Shot up high, it oh. does bounce around, but not quite in. And the, the situation doesn't really reset. Uh, LGBZ can't really get out of this oh. defensive position, and the core just goes through with the uh, arrow beam as the strike core. Yeah, it was a strike war. Monk over Zinnia right there. A little bit oh, awkward for Zinnia. Just couldn't kite handle. The cooldown's not in their favor. So tie ball game, one apiece. We'll see what Zinnia, what she can do back on that other side as they're getting control of the lower end of the pitch. Zarelia again going straight after Monk, going straight after Ahmed, who actually starts to push forward right now. I love that about Ahmed, though. Just really embracing oh. this map, looking to play aggressive, and already the barriers have opened up. A chance for Monk, perhaps. Doesn't want to get into Torchy just just yet. Dribbles through himself. Here comes Ahmed. The barrage doesn't wave its way through. This is so oh, amazing. Oh, what a maelstrom. <laughs> what a maelstrom. Oh, Monk's Maelstroms have been on point. We've seen three KOs now from them, a 2-1 lead. ATM on the precipice of being two sets up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, LGBZ's definitely had a chance just then. Monk had no elusive at the start of the round, and they got Oop. good damage onto him, and they could have reset the stacks, but they decided to do it now with one Kai special. Uh, that's a really, really huge point. Maybe they can look to turn the set from that. Already, you know, first bear is falling down on that other end, so I'm with you. I think that we could be seeing something gathered back on the other side. But first, they're going to have to clear it again as Monk is just guarding right in front of the reverbs, right right in front of the base boosted reverbs, right? It's, this is a pump and DJ set as Monk takes it through the top. Zenesis, pretty easy defense, actually uses the Virage to kind of oh. get it back to the other side. Zarelli is going to take down the goal, and now here comes that triple Z side, but they lose possession immediately. Yeah, I mean, oh wow, what a KO. Um, I, honestly, I don't even know what KO'd him there. Uh, Torchy just trying to keep the core away, using all his skills to try and keep the uh, core in the enemy half, but uh, it doesn't end up working out. Oh, Zinnia burns the core flip, really nice redirect from Armin, uh, and saves the uh, the core flip from the X as well. Um, Monk is there to handle Armin after he pushes up a little bit aggressively, and um, the game is, uh, I think, I think, I think they've oh. defended it. Yeah, they're out. Well, yeah, but look how staggered they are, though they are getting some health back right now. It looked like they were on the precipice of just being KO'd, but somehow ATM still stays standing. That said, Zenesis does let the core get behind them, and there's a lot of work to be done for ATM if they're going to get this point. The Maelstrom nearly gets the KO, but on the other side, down falls the era. Oh, a mistake by Zenesis. Torchy nearly punished. That's the core flip. We'll get the secure 2v3 ATM coming alive. Zarelia with the cross up forces out the Giga Blast. Now Monk is going to look to run it down. Torchy dribbles with himself, caught by the opposite side, Giga Blast. Card misses. No one gets possession immediately. Ahmed back on that defensive foot. Torchy with a chance, wants to get it to Monk. Takes the shot himself, but again, it's saved. Oh my goodness, Armored, the the old guard, really showing his uh, powers here. Just absolute defense, and um, we can see like this, these two incredible players that have so much synergy together can't go through him. Um, we'll see how the play develops here. That uh, Feeny secondary really providing a, a, a really difficult option to clear to. Um, yeah, it, it's and now let's see. 
Now, now let's see uh, how they deal with Monk having no elusive. Uh, can they get another kill on him, or...? Do they try? I mean, Torchy doesn't have elusive as well, and Torchy has been sort of the main target, but no, it's just an errant touch from Monk sneaking past Zenesis that gives the set over to ATM a little anticlimactic, but hey, ATM's going to take it up 2-0 now in our first game. Amazing. Um, we can actually see the difference in uh, the playstyles of Kai here. Zenith is going for the strike shot and Armored going for the E button. Uh, Armored can defend a lot more aggressively and clutch up in situations where he might, uh, Zenith is not, uh, might not be able to catch the core necessarily. Um, and we can really see that where Armored will just defend with E button speed for, you know, a thousand years. And then Zenith, if he doesn't have strike shot up, he basically doesn't have an awake, uh, he basically doesn't have gear. All right, well, that's interesting. Torchy now has gathered two sparks, but the other thing I want to talk about is Aurelia going for the chrono boost over the built difference. Now, the built different from my gathers has been nerfed recently. That's why it's kind of fallen out of favor. Yeah, um, built different is. I think it's. I think it's kind of a kind of a sleeper bad. Mm. It's just sleep. It's just sleep. It's just, it's yeah, just yeah, a yeah, sleep. Yeah, sleeper thing. means it's secretly good. It just yeah, sleep. Yeah, it's just sleep. Um, <laughs> But I also think people really underestimate the buff time on uh, on X's punches. Uh, yeah. A lot of awakenings. Uh, yeah, awesome. just escorts uh, it down. Chrono and Cast Last are actually the two biggest um, damage increases for X's ultimate. Even better than ST, just with the amount of punches that you get. Uh, you can also, but oh my goodness, the preemptive pop from Zinnia. That was <laughs> that was Giga Brain. That was Big Brain. Yeah, smart moment right there from Zinnia putting that through. Also, taking a look at Zinnia's build, uh, she was able to get the aerials, which is going to be helping her uh, in forward as well. I was actually a little bit surprised to see aerials drop. I thought it was going to be taken away by Monk, but instead Monk opt for, you know, the twin drive, the extra secondary, so more movement speed in that regards. But would it have been worth to try and counter pick aerials away? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't think the aerials matters, honestly, because Aurelia <laughs> just walks up and punches uh, Monk <laughs> seven times, and... Uh... He just dies. Well, that means the twin drive doesn't matter either. If you can't, you can't use any abilities when you've been KO'd. Now Torchy just going to try to force something oh. through. Saved on the line by Zenesis. Able to set the Maelstrom as well. That's it. Torchy still keeps the pressure on. Down goes the barriers. Now Torchy looking to go through that lower corner. As up above, you can see Monk just getting absolutely pounded on Zarelia against oh, the KO. Oh my goodness. It's, it's the same thing over and over again. We're watching the same like storyline play out on repeat it's monk uses the evasive on zinnia and then Aurelia just walks oh i thought torchy had a big play right there core flip for core flip Zarelia wins out i didn't mean to cut you off but it looked like that one on one was almost about to come through <laughs> yeah absolutely uh and now we see the uh the consequences of his actions using yeah. all his core flips <laughs> and he just dies to the x ulti good gig Came from the X. very fun yeah, I mean, it, it, it is, it, it really feels like LGB Triple Z just chooses who they want to take out at any given moment. Open net, oh. easy goal, 2-0 lead in our third set for LGB Triple Z. Armored playing a little bit, a little bit too aggressive there. Maybe he trusted his Giga ability, um, but just really, really clean passing coming out from LGBZ leading to score that call. And now... Once again, down 2-0, chance oh. for the reverse sweep. I mean, it's a quick KO on who has been the big threat in this one. So without Zarelia, what can ATM do? I mean, even Ahmed is pushing as far forward as possible. That Finney special probably doing more harm than good. Either way, Ahmed's still going to play it forward. Starting to see Stagger Bars actually get quite low for the rest of LGBs here. People said this should be a goal, and it is. Torchy puts it in. Wow. Just the amount of offensive pressure they bring as soon as the X gets el eliminated from the table. Uh, Xenia actually held on really well there as well, just using all of her abilities to stop the core and the core flip as well. Uh, but it wasn't enough. Oh, the same thing happens again at the start of the round. That is so unlucky. I mean, Armored is rolling the uh, extra special specialized training, the uh, KO on kickoff. Build. Uh, we'll see what else they can do here. He she is back, but um, they've lost two barriers yeah and zinni is also staggered as well so potential for a ko that said the barrier oh. will open up on the other side not quite the pop that zinnia was looking for and again they're just going to be knocked around by torchy that said ahmed with the core flip there's oh, the ko boy. so the finny is gone we kind of knew that was coming what can ahmed do with the core flip up to monk tried to slow it down just kind of fake it in not going to hit its mark but it's oh. going to be a torchy dunk instead and we're on match point 
slight misclick from Zanasis there allows Torchy to just scoop up the core and send it back to Kai when he doesn't have the strike cooldown. I think Zanasis might be struggling a little bit uh, this game. I know he's a really, really good player, but um, some of his clicks and uh, some of his positioning mistakes in this game have been quite noticeable. Maybe he hasn't played Demon Dice enough recently. And also, isn't Zanasis the one who is apparently, you know, battling illness as well? That is <laughs> in, definitely in true. That is definitely so. true. Uh, he is uh, disadvantaged and handicapped in real life. Yeah, so it's it's a bit, it's, it's a tough ask, especially considering how many games uh, they've had to play and how late this one has become. I mean, they did come through that lower bracket, so they had that extra best of three underneath them. As Ahmed looks to keep it up high, still looking for those two barrier hits. Monk playing from behind uh, the barriers, isn't quite able to get through. Torchy now is kind of left oh. in an awkward spot as Ahmed can't get it around that second barrier. This looks very good for Triple Z. Oh, yeah, the pop goes backwards, the still position. Torelli, I oh, can't force it trickle. in. And Surely the dash it goes as well. through now. No, Torchy clears it out. Wow, oh, just Armin and Torchy, just the defensive prowess that these two players have. Um, and as soon as Monk's back, he just forces it right back. Uh, and now LGBZ have to play defensive. Yeah, but that said, they have gotten the stagger bar quite low onto Torchy. Oh. That one shot almost snuck its way through. Man, so these, we'll these Feeny primaries are really just sneaking by. Mm -hmm. they, they're dangerous. It's it's easy to lose track if you don't play League of Legends and know anything about Zoe. But as it stands right now, <laughs> dead assistant Zorelia, they're going to stay on the back foot. An evasive this has already been used on Torsi. Zorelia going straight after that Zentaro. A KO would probably give LGB Triple Z the gold pass up. Zinnia dribbles to themselves, but Monk and Ahmed with that extra speed, they're there. Oh, what a kill. And then Ahmed oh, actually preemptively out. uses the claw flip. Oh, no. Over eager and again, Torchy and Ahmed are going to have to play defense. Ahmed somehow wins that strike war. Zenis is taking their time, but that allows Monk to respawn, who again is just going to hold on to the core, finds Torchy through the gap, who will take it back to the lower corner. Zenesis tries to take it up high, but Torchy's already there for the stuff. Zenis is still protecting that barrier. It's going to oh. hit. The goal opens up. A chance to take game one now. ATM have fought so hard to come back into this third point. LGB Triple Z still has the chance. Here comes Aurelia. Doesn't find it. Straight down the middle. It's Torchy up to Monk, and it's gonna go in oh, game one goes no. atm <laughs> what an insane defense by atm in that last round um i can't believe monk spawned and immediately used primary on the x and uh, armored could live because of that that was amazing that was just he instantly knew where to where to be where to we use use his skills yeah I, I think I understand talks why people like Demon Days. Some of those rallies, absolutely insane. Uh, plus, you get, you know, the small field KO fest as well. But uh, walking away from that one, I mean, Zorelia in, in three sets, 44k damage, nine KOs, and it wasn't enough to overcome it. I mean, the defense from Ahmed throughout so many power plays on that last point alone, they were able to overcome. So. As we get ready to go to our second map right now, Atten City, what are you saying if you're like the coach for LGB Triple Z to get him back in this? Um, oh man, if I was playing, I'm just playing Asher and Goalie sitting on it. Just don't let him play the game. He's too good. Yeah, you can't, like, I, I, I don't know if you can ban him out at this. I mean, obviously you don't want to let the AI me through, but like, it just feels so difficult in, in how you're meant to kind of read it moving forward. I know. Let, let's talk at and city though. What band should we be expecting coming in into this? Honestly, I have no idea. I, I think we will still see the uh, AI me ban from LGBC, <laughs> but I, I actually have no idea what ATM bans here. Do they just go with a default and ban the Drakkar away? Or uh, do they go a little bit funky and maybe ban the Kai? But I like what's being hovered right now. I think that's a pretty decent play. Uh, if you guys, I mean, Rasmus does seem like right up there with your car is kind of that all around her. And it's going to be a Juliet ban. The so the army way. actually is left unchecked. Um, this is going to be interesting. And I think we might even be seeing a mirror for Era X. Some, something tells me it's a cast last start. I think that could be the case. We'll see when it comes through. I mean, if we're seeing Era X Kai both sides, well, it's going to be another pretty violent game, I would have to think. As we come through now, again, if ATM takes this game, we're done. If it goes to LGB Triple Z, well, then we go on to the next game. And it was oh. LGB Triple Z who picked this map. And yeah, we're getting the full mirror match here. Mirror matches are always so fun because they can be decided, honestly, in, in the first set. Um, who gains the levels? Who gains the better awakenings? Uh, we'll just have to see how this plays out, honestly. 
Um, and it is a six person fight or flight start. It, it is simply oh. just too good on Ardens. Uh, this is going to be a fast game. This no matter is the, which way it goes, uh, I think it's going to be a quick one right now. Yeah, we'll I, 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 I think this is the season two equivalent of a, of a stacks on stacks start. It's just everyone's just running around at max speed the entire time. Uh, especially especially the X, when given like just so much speed, it's, it's going to be really scary trying to get the core away from him. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting to see like which X is going to be the first one to run across the map already charging their spinning swing and somehow hitting the opposite end's goalie. I can feel that in my bones happening already. Torchy, first one to get special, just punching everyone on triple Z around. That gets the first barrier, but they get punished for it. It's going to be a KO through the net. Yeah, I mean, a, a slight mistake in the combo from uh, Torchy leads to Aralia not getting KO'd and two people getting staggered, but they do have to play defensively for this 2v3. Monk is just farming the farming the core flip. He does get it here. Let's see what oh. they can do with it. Oh, What a shot. I think that was Ahmed's Giga Blast that came through and now core flip on the line. It just kind of falls in. First point goes to ATM. Yeah, this first set is going to be very, very critical. There are so many good awakenings for each character. Uh, as soon as we see that draft, we, we I think we pretty much know if it's going to be over or not. Yeah, this is already looking spooky, especially oh. with, again, the core flip was saved for that last one. We'll come through now. Zarelius looking for the KO on Torchy. Not going to find it, but it is keeping all of ATM back. That gives Inia the free barrier clear. Core flip down the middle, caught by Ahmed. Zarelli gets a KO on the Balin, but oh. the Barrage throws it right back. So it's going to be an era forward battle. Zinnia wins out, and it's a 1-1 game. Ahmed was just forced on the defensive for too long. He didn't have any skills up, and he was just, yeah, what are you going to do against an era beating you? It's always funny though, when, when both X's go down, how it plays out when we get into era versus era. I'm gonna be curious if that happens a fair bit more. Maelstrom straight down the middle. Ahmed still makes the save through the corner, but can't stop Zarelius dives. Zarelia will get, you know, staggered as a result. You have to sacrifice so much diving into your opponents in order to get that barrier or get that goal. Yeah, absolutely. Zenis is actually uh, uses the flip there just to get the pressure out of their corner, but it goes right back into the monk, uh, hands of Monk. Uh, we see Aralia actually, Aralia and Torchy both <laughs> staggered here. They could, oh my goodness. This is like Beyblades right now, more, more than Omega Strikers, it feels like. Just characters spinning and bouncing around everywhere. It is that violent of a game. Torchy doesn't get the dunk on the first attempt. Second attempt to pass up to Monk. Zinnia reads it through. Another good touch by Zinnia, who's winning every single strike war on that defensive line. Oh. Oh, and the Maelstrom as well, just to top it off. She wins the, she wins the strike watch and she, she just clicks to all the right places. Um, that was really, really beautiful. Just Armin not even getting a chance to call flip there. I, this game more so than any other game, sometimes you just hit that like moment of zen, I feel like, where you just can't miss. You can't misplay. You can, every touch perfect, every ability on point. And Zinnia kind of hit it right there. Unfortunately for LGB Triple Z, the barrier's already fallen on their side, but again, Zinnia just putting in so much work, can't get that last oh. touch, though. You're so right about that zone of focus. Uh, just being able to go into that flow state and just mm. everything working out for you. Unfortunately, it does also work the opposite way, uh, mm -hmm. where you lose focus for a second, everything doesn't work out, you lose everything, you lose every strike for it, you lose the goal. Um, <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen to anyone here. Uh, uh, well, I mean, look, all I'm going to say is like the, the games I play, that's me oh 80% of the time. God. Double KO Zarelia on point right here. And you would think that would be enough to take it. Monk can't intercept the pass. Easy touch for Zinnia down oh, and in. First huge. set goes to LGB Triple Z in a reverse sweep. Aralia just had max level, uh, max experience on her team for that. If she gets a good awakening here, it's going to be really rough. Oh, okay, One, that's, punch. Not, that's not too bad. Big, I think she big. takes Chrono here. I think she Chrono. takes Chrono here. Um, this is... One, two, oh, punch. One, two. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. Um, giving Armored Chrono Boost when he's on E button feels a bit rough, but maybe she thinks just, hey, just KO them and we don't have to worry about the Chrono. What's interesting though, and what I like, it's actually the Stagger Swagger right now going over to Monk, who has been, you know, a bit focused at times. I think that extra bit of defense has the potential to go a long way in comparison to the reverb that gets picked up by Zinnia. So, will be interesting to see how it plays out. I, I, a defensive awakening in as violent as the match this is already looking out to be could be a difference maker. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can just see the both both X's just playing tug of war to see how far <laughs> they can push the each other on. Oh. Uh, Torchy does win the trade for this one, and Monk's just oh so patient, so patient with his mm. walk up. 
I mean, winning that trade doesn't mean much if you can't get that barrier because they came at the sacrifice of their own. We will see the Maelstrom looks to set it up, but the core bounces the wrong way and Zarelia yeah. back and straight after Monk. And there is that Stagger Swagger coming into play. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I I'm a massive fan of that Awakening. Uh, and Monk's just proving me right here with every single dam point of damage he takes. He's just healing it all back up, getting extra speed the entire time. And it's actually winning him the uh, battle in the midfield as well. Uh, just this round in, in totality, uh, ATM have had much more core control just because Era can get to places faster than the enemy Era. Yeah, just really, really cool to see. Yeah, but at the same time, it's got to be frustrating for LGBZ because they had the core control early. They got that barrier down, but since then, you're right. It's been all ATM. Finally looks to be going the other way, but then the Maelstrom brings it back up. Good clear from Zenesis, but Ahmad with the core flip. Again, still waiting. It just feels like only a matter of time before eventually that barrier should fall. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is actually slightly unlucky for uh, LGBZ, if I'm saying here. Uh, a mirror can literally be won or lost with one Awakening, and they didn't get a key Awakening for X um, in that draft. So I guess we'll just see what happens here. But um, oh, a really, really nice patient strike wall by Monk Yell. So finally winning the strike war of Zinnia. Um, but Torchy does actually go down to Aralia. Aralia wins at that time. Core flip forced out, but it doesn't oh. matter. The KO goes the other way, and Monk's going to dribble it right into a barrage from Zenesis. Out comes the Maelstrom, but Xenia will cut off the core before it gets there. Now the Maelstrom has shit to come up the other way, straight into Torchy's face. Might not matter. Monk up there. Xenia goes down low. Has a core flip as well, so keep your eyes on the rain-coated era. If she could get away from Torchy, you can see Torchy trying to get her to pop it, and she does. It's on the core. Oh. The return core flip doesn't do enough. Torchy can't get the KO. Zenia staying alive and finding touches. Oh. Finally, the era is thrown off of the pitch, but at an inopportune moment to get that goal, Torchy tries to create space, but it's just too slow to chase it up. Monk, now again with possession. Zerillia oh. steps forward and gets the goal. <laughs> That entire time, Aralia had perfect positioning. Monk could not find a space to pass to Torchy. Um, wow. 2v3? No, 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 no. Just Beyblade it. Oh my goodness, Aralia putting in the work right there for that goal. Sick play. Barrier falls on the other end as well. A chance to go up now 2-0 in yeah, this absolutely. one. Uh, Torchy does have the flip. Let's see what I can do with it here. Oh, this mm. has to strike with three people with that flip. I don't know if that's much of an advantage, even with the flip. Uh, <laughs> if you have to strike against three different people. Gotta, yeah, I, I don't think it's possible. If the other team has any sort of team cohesion, it, it just it, it's not what goes through. Uh, at the moment, though, Zinnia and Zarelia again starting to push forward. Torchy tries to create space, and through the middle, the core somehow slips through. Monk not going to win the strike war against his Zenesis with Barrage, but might be able to get a second chance. Has to go evasive to avoid Zarelia as oh. Ahmed is put under the pump. Torchy trying to punch their way through, but again, just can't get past Zenesis, who is having a much better game, too, in this grand final. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's really he's really shown up. Uh, I think Strike Shot is definitely a lot better on Arden, so he can cover a, a lot more areas of the map. Uh, and uh, with a uniform push such as Era and X, he actually has a lot more uh, time and situations to dribble. Oh my goodness! The bewitching beam coming up from Zinnia again, just reading Armored. Wow. Zinnia has been doing so, so well on that attacking side. She's been able to find so many key moments, so many key touches right now. And, well, we saw a reverse sweep set one where, you know, it, it came back in favor of LGB Triple Z. Let's see if ATM could do the same. Monk has a core flip, uh, has to use it a little bit proactively, actually. It felt like got surrounded, popped it, got some damage down. But without that finishing tool, I don't know if they can get through this Triple Z defense with the way Zenesis has been playing. Yeah, absolutely. But also, not even getting through the defense. Uh, with this Chrono Boost, Armor just has so much speed and so much time to send the core to where he wants. Uh, they all, Every single time the core is put into offense by uh, ATM, they oh. it's, it's like they almost carefully plan every single play they make just because Armored has the time and the speed. Oh, never mind. Well, never mind. I mean, that's just typical over aggressive Ahmed at times, I suppose, trying to force those plays. And now gets the KO with the Giga Blast, but Zarelia returns it on the bottom side, does in time the charge oh. correctly. Monk will be able to dribble it forward. Oh, a bit of a misread right there. Wanted the Buichin Beam to go up high instead, but is what it is. Good, smart play from Zenesis. Here comes the Maelstrom, though. Forces the evasiveness out of Zenesis. That can be an opening for Torchy, who that's should have their special back. Beam. Do we see the oh. punches? No, not quite yet. <gasps> no oh, way! What a click! What a click! <laughs>
Oh, Genesis is going to be frustrated with that. The barrage was on cooldown. The core still goes through, and ATM still in this second set. Yeah, I mean, I, I love going for those uh, going for those clicks where the goalie thinks, oh, I don't have to react to that. That'll hit the corner, or oh, uh, I'll be able to be in range for that. I don't have to. I don't have to call flip. Um, it is really those unexpected plays and the the 50 50 gambles that's created from that that really just sets uh, really really good scorers like that apart and torture just that man clicks corners well here we go ahmed under a bit of pressure right now actually as uh, again the barrier is going to fall early but still has that core flip that said zinnia on the precipice of getting their own as well so we'll see what she's going to be able to do with it as she dribbles it up right now oh. core flip available won't get the chance to use it good save by zenesis but the headbutt from torchy opens up the goal another opportunity to take us to a 0.5 right now core flip from zarelia cut off by ahmed still holding on to there zinnia has also been holding for a hot minute as well evasive from torchy means they could turn the power the damage onto that X core flip has to be burned by Xenia as Monk nearly squeaked it through for tough angle. Another oh. touch for that same corner. This time, Xenesis was ready. <laughs> yeah, but now Armin has core flip, and now now he's he's ready to walk up. As soon as he gets that secondary, he's just gonna walk up and core flip. Uh, we'll see if LGBZ can make something or burn the flip before then. Uh, we actually see that Xenia just uh, really really aggressive positioning forces Armin to burn the secondary for speed, um, and the the game draws to a somewhat slower state of gameplay. Genesis has burned their evasive though, so there could be an opening there, although by now it might be back off cooldown again. Either way, Ahmed has been sitting on the score flip for a while. The Giga Blast gets the KO, and that could be the opening. No X. That means a chance. Torchy doesn't get a chance with it because of the barrage. It gets denied. Ahmed starts to step a little bit further forward. Now burns the core flip. Went for a tricky angle. It will be red. Another evasive burnt by Zenesis, though. Torchy too far back to start the punish. Now starts to set forward. Monk's there as well, but they can't get it past Zarelia. They have to go topside. Shots don't go in. Yeah. Uh, the... I think the main problem with that just then was uh, Torchy actually walked back to stay alive. I mean, they could have possibly forced the 3v2, but I, I can understand where he's coming from because if he dies to the Kai, uh, that's going to be a pretty scary X that's coming Ooh. coming back in a couple seconds. Torchy tries to sneak it through underneath. Now goes for pass up to Monk. There comes the Maelstrom, but it's not quite going to hit. Meanwhile, Maelstrom back the other way as well. Forces Ahmed in an awkward spot. Torchy nice. with Spin space. Torchy. Torch for the headbutt had the core flip, but it was just out of range. Smartly, they hold on to it. Monk trying to get it to their teammate, but that Wall of red, Triple Z holds off, and now a core flip oh, in a dangerous spot in. will be the goal. In. And ATM takes us to another 2 2 set point. These games are definitely a lot more closer than the, the winners' finals. Both both teams really just showing what they're made of uh, at this point in time. As we go into the kickoff, we'll see uh, just the errors going at each other, just the X's trying to fight each other. It's, oh, it's always such a cluster as soon as the kickoff <laughs> starts with this comp. I love it. Yeah, it is. It is. Like, the, the first oh. points are always kind of crazy. Ahmed just misclicked. That's a very uncharacteristic uh, mistake coming from that the uh, OC resident goalie player. Um, it's okay. That He's mad about it. He's just walking up. I'm actually surprised we didn't see Ahmed Korflip get the barrier and then his oh, that's, that's, back. That's kind of what I was thinking he was going to do, but maybe maybe he's uh, been conditioned from the previous mistakes he's made <laughs> not to uh, not to push up that aggressively. And yeah. maybe he should save the Korflip for Aurelia's Korflip. That's uh, going to be here right now. Let's see what oh he can do. Oh boy, here we go. This is dangerous, oh especially my. with the power play forced out from the Zarelia KO. Granted, that got rid of the Korflip and Ahmed still has theirs, so I actually expect ATM to kind of hold in this position, but not if they group up like that. Spooky moment. Zinnia now comes coming through has been the strike taker core flip used to avoid the maelstrom's going to get caught by the barrage that said monk is back on the pitch and atm once again they're on the attacking half yeah uh you can really see like how how quickly Z uh, zanace has just reacted Ooh. to that uh flip uh he won he wanted to keep the ball in the play uh unfortunately monk does take the barrier uh oh, oh my god <laughs> Oh, the overtime strike again. Those overtime hits, they come from out of nowhere. And once again, it's going to be LGB Triple Z with priority on this draft. Maybe they'll get the awakening they want this time. I see perfect form. I see Knife's Edge. I, where are we going? Uh, I think ATM wins this one. Oh, goodness. The, the, oh. the new awakenings are making it really difficult to uh, accurately gauge the state of the draft. Yeah, because like I I'm looking at this right now, and if it's supposed to be an X versus X battle, well, it is. You're right. Uh, actually, going to ATM first, and they're going to take Knife's Edge. Not too surprising there. The heavy impact going to come on the other side. I feel like that's about equal. 
I think so too. Uh, ATM getting a lot more cooldowns uh, and power for X, whereas uh, the uh, the other team got a lot more speed uh, with with stacks and cast. Um, obviously, both X's just unga bunga brain off, go for damage. Who cares? Who cares about move speed? Who cares about cooldowns? Just force the core in. Just click second and shove the core in. Um, that we call that unga bunga, right? That was the most unga bunga play I think we've seen. Yeah, yet. every other 100%. goal has been like this intricate setup play, and now Torchy just walks it straight through. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he can get to places faster with knife edge, uh, and he can click harder with knife edge as well. Uh, Oh, really, really nice uh, force from Aralia there, forcing an armor to uh, play away from the core, leading to that barrier. Uh, we'll see what Torchy can do with this core being handed straight to him. Of course, he just he just just straight up just punches it into the into the barrier. Um, this is becoming a problem. Torchy yeah. is looking very good right now. Core flip oh. up and oh, it's going to be to Monk who puts it through. Extra Two nil. Accurate clicks by Monk and Torchy just then. Um, Torchy is just having so much free reign with uh, with a speed given from Knife's Edge plus slick kicks plus fight or flight. Um, you can just see like him on the side. He's just rampaging through with the core. Um, I mean, it's going to be tough. That said, as soon as the focus gets, to, I want to see more focus on Torchy right now. Like, I, I really do. And when you look at the Sagar bars, I mean, the, to the focus has been there, but they've been so quick, they've been oh. able to evade a lot of it. Now a chance to take this third set so, so quick after the last one. All three goals are under 30 seconds. Monk and Torchy, uh, the two, I mean, two of the best corner clickers uh, in the game. Their their midfield presence might not be as uh, prevalent as some of the other strikers, but man, when the goal's open, they will get that core in. Oh, tempo swing. Oh my goodness. It's okay. there. Okay. And all of a sudden, ATM with that pick alone, the reverse sweep is looking very plausible. Yeah, definitely. Um, Era taking the extra special away and uh, Zanace is actually going for damage. Armored has to deny the prize fighter from X. I'm not sure if that's a deny or if he just wants to get KOs and more power. I think it's a little column A, a little column B, right? I mean, you know, some good Giga Blast shots, you can get KOs for sure. And I Ahmed, so. I mean, already is sitting, you know, on the perfect form, has the fight or flight. I think the damage could be there. I mean, I think the only thing that really mattered from that draft was the the the, the tempo swing X. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a threat. You can already see the uh, the damage difference between these two X's. Uh, just the the way that Torchy can heal now is just crazy. Yeah, it, um, I'm getting nutty. Oh my goodness. Because you have to remember as well, it's not just the damage difference. Torchy also has the speed from the past drafts as well. It was kind of like a gambit to get to this point. And now here comes the pressure. Torchy and Monk trying to force it through. Oh. And there it is. First goal goes to ATM. This is why I love mirror matches. This is, this is why I love to see mirror matches because they can just flick so quickly. You just get one key awakening and it's like, wow. And it's Are we losing so, to these guys? It's gotta be so frustrating for LGBZ as well because they won the first two sets. They had the priority pick two times in a row and they just didn't get that awakening. They didn't get that key moment. And now core flip to core flip. And he's gonna open up the Torchy's goal. Torchy's there one. with the flip as well and wins the 2v1 wow. strike war. There you go, 2-0 lead for ATM. Triple core flip to secure the goal when the, the enemy X is down. That's, 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 that's gotta be illegal. That's gotta be in a book somewhere. <laughs> And once again, this this fourth set going as fast as the third right now talks like it, it, it's just happening. They're just putting that pressure on. Oh, my goodness. Triple Z in so much trouble, even though they are technically ahead in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Aralia going for one two punch heavy impact, but she, like all her oh. all, all her awakenings get out damaged by one tempo swing. It's ridiculous. Tempo swing nerf when right now. Yeah. I think Tempo, tempo swing cast the, last, cast the last nerf when. Yeah, just get rid of all of them. That's another set. That goal took 34 seconds, okay? So it was a little longer than the others. So I'm not calling it a perfect set, but I am saying right now, ATM one set away from winning Monday Night Monday. Ah, uh, there's the quick strikes. Uh, thankfully, the, the two X's are down, down, way down. Um, so we won't get to see that amount of disgustingness. Uh, but Era does get the quick strikes, and this is going to be a really, really difficult game. I, I wonder if... Ah, oh, yeah, he's going for the specialized training. I, I thought he'd be going for the uh, for the aerials to pad the range a little bit. But um, he's got Prize Fighter. He wants the kills. Oh, 
more speed. More speed, why not? More speed and the uh, peak performance stagger scales with Tempo Swing as well. Yeah. So... <laughs> oh, look it... at Torchy's build right now. That's disgusting. It is so fast. And uh, again, just you have to be decisive. That said, it's not over yet. LGBZ, they've already gotten that first barrier and they've got some speed as well. Zinnia with the twin drive. I don't think we should overlook oh. that. And Zarelia just wins a strike war straight up. Yeah, if you're absolutely. better at clicking, you can still win. And uh, let's not forget that um, LGBZ actually have have a two two set round as well. Uh, they're not behind any, by any means. It's it's now even. Um, or oh, a really really almost nice KO coming out from uh, a rally there. And we there can, it oh is. my goodness. That's going to be that first KO. Torchy and Monk looking to put pressure on that corner. Big time strike from Zinnia, I believe, saving that barrier, but. The power play continues. Zinnia cuts off another pass. Zinnia goes oh my solo, goodness. and all of a sudden, it's game point for LGB Triple Z. Yeah, wow. They are. They, they, they've they've turned around and they've said, "Hey, look, let's not go over damage anymore. Let's just click better than them." Again, it's that twin drive. I think it was a bit of a sleeper pickup from Zinnia in that last draft because they have so much speed. Once they get the momentum in their favor, and now. Well, we're going to have to look for a reverse sweep. Torchy has just been forced away from the core largely, and every single strike war has been won by LGB Triple Z so far. Yeah. Um, I think... Uh, oh what a core goodness. flip! What a KO! As I was just about to say, ATM finally getting to play the game. No, they're not allowed to play the game, apparently. Oh, really, really nice shot by Armored. They're just showcasing the power of that E button Kai, where you get to play so far up and so aggressive. Um, both strikers now back in the play. Let's see what they can do. Um, but wishing Beam onto Armed. the Kai actually going to be quite threatening? No, it's, it's back up, it's back up. Armor's just uh, sitting there waiting for the force to get in position. Mm. Uh, Xenia's going to pressure. Oh, oh. We've seen Xenia get the barrier so many times on pushes like that. I was ready for it. Now Xenia's going to try to get another chance. That's it, Torchy with the core flip. Ops to hold on for it. Now Monk was just out of position. The oh core flip has to be used. They get the goal. This game's not over yet. Formal, you're not wrong about every single grand finals being absolutely hyped. What is this? Is game one? This is game one. It's game two. It's game two. We, we it's game two. To, yeah, no, it's game two. Days. We we did oh, try wow. to demon days. It was a lot faster. No, 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 no. no. That, that 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 map doesn't exist. I don't know what you're on about. Okay, okay, fair shot. Well, yeah, just just have them play on Atten City, I guess. Mirror matches all day long. Goal is open though. LGB Triple Z could take us to a game four. And Zinnia's going to put that pressure on. Ahmed has to keep it in that lower corner. Zinnia's going to try to find the way, but here comes ATM back to the other side. Monk actually kind of pulled away from the core. Didn't want to get caught up in it. Now Zarelia is forward, has the core flip, going to use it for the oh. win. We're going to map number three. <laughs> Straight through. Three strikers. That's the, uh, that's the classic X way to score right there. So with that match done, we continue on to Night Market up next. Give Zinnia the MVP though for that game. I mean, fair enough, Zinnia performed very, very well. Yeah, I mean, just the amount of the amount of redirects she got, the amount of like defensive plays that she got. She was just everywhere where she needed to be and just won so many of the strike wars. Um, but that was the same case as well back in Demon Days. It really feels like Zinnia is just playing Zinnia has been looking like the best player on the pitch right now uh, overall. I mean, Ahmed's had some pretty hype moments as well. And when you looked at the stats at the end of that last game, it was actually Ahmed who out KO'd Torchy 8 to 5. So the prize fighter makes a bit more sense when he looked at the stats, who was getting those final blows. Going into Night Market, this was another ATM map. I, I don't think. Do you think we see another mirror match? On Night Market? Yeah. Uh... I want another. No, maybe, I, maybe, them. maybe they play the the era X again. But I, I think ATM's preferred comp on Night Market would be Eras and Taro, mm. and I think uh, LGBZ will want to bring out the era Julie or the era X. Really? Do we ban the era? Do we just get rid of that? Because it seems like both teams are so reliant on it right now. Like if you have a a plan B that doesn't involve era, now could be the time to pull it out. That is true. That is true. Um, I think Era just provides so much core control at the moment, um, especially when the offensive goal is being played. We're not seeing any Dubu. We're not seeing any Atlas. Um, midfield control becomes so much more important with offensive goalies so they can add to the pressure. Um, and we're just seeing that now. I guess Dubu Julie. Yeah. 
getting rid of Torchy's Julie kind of makes sense to me, but that just means we're probably going to get another X or Zen in that situation. The Kai's will come out as well without the Dubu's. Nothing too surprising right there. I think we're getting another mirror match. Yeah, I think I think so too. I think so too. The uh, <laughs> the the Julie Ben makes sense if you're going to pick X. I think. Um, I, I just realized, I think, dude, like, this is Ember Monarchs. Like, we're getting a canon mirror match two yeah, games in a row. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think um, what happened last game was both teams sort of thought, oh, hey, we're better than them with this comp. Like, mm. we can win, we can we can beat them with this comp. Um, and yeah, just both teams are egoing it out. Obviously, it's um, the, the favor is slightly on LGBZ's side as they uh, they did literally just win the last game. But it was so close. Oh my it was gosh. So close. Perfect form, perfect form anyone, perfect form everyone. That's gonna be the go right now. Everybody with perfect form, including most importantly, both those X's. Yeah, I mean, I should I should have just gone to sleep. What, what, is, what is this? What is this game gonna be? <laughs> I think this is gonna be another, well, okay. I, my first thought is this is gonna be a violent one, but you're, I think from how you're reacting, this could be a core control game as well. Uh, perfect form games usually just run around people spamming skills. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I prefer to CD uh, cooldown check uh, and like play around the goalies' cooldowns and stuff like that. Uh, I, I personally quite dislike perfect form just because of how impossible oh. that makes it. A really, really quick KO coming out from Zanasis here. Uh, just good barrage. I think that barrage is mostly meant for the oh. core, but um. Mm. He, he finds the care. Um, yeah, a little bit of, like, I guess unfriendly fire when it's not the target you were going for. Either way, <laughs> Core Flip's going to be popped by Zarelia right here. Torchy just misses the strike. That's possession loss, and it almost cost Torchy as well. Their position, there you go, oh. Zenesis. Giga Blast gets another KO. That's going to open the door. LGB, Triple Z, they're knocking on it. Good defense from Monk Geister, yep. though. Keeps it away from Zinnia. Crazy angle from Zenesis doesn't quite put it in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, mind. that was an uh, awkward angle, to say the least. ATM lets one by, and Zarelia gets credit for the point. Uh, and yes, Jet, it is it is 2 a.m. in New Zealand. Uh, it's quite something we are, we're working up here, but it's okay. Who needs sleep? Um, who needs sleep when you can be here for Monday Night Mondays, which is actually now Tuesday morning. Uh, yeah, which is now Tuesday morning, money, money, I don't Tuesday think there's any money on the line. <laughs> no, no, no. So it's uh, it's no money Tuesday mornings, which yeah, um, doesn't just, quite have the same ring to it. This um, is the most falsely so advertised uh, event. Like, <laughs> when, you, when you put it that way. Um, either way, it's really putting that pressure on. I, it's just a testament to show, though, like, you know, tournaments are fun. <laughs> People are willing to Oh. One. Torchy putting that pressure on isn't able to get that shot just in yet. Muck's gonna throw it back right now. Zarelia forced in an awkward spot. Great wow. maelstrom from Monk to get both barriers down and all of a sudden ATM. The power play is over. Torchy's in trouble. It's actually gonna go back in LGB Triple Z's favor, I think. I don't even know what I'm looking at at this point. Just perfect form makes cooldowns impossible to track. Everything happens three times faster. Uh, one thing I do know though is that whenever either X ults, the other forwards just run away from them. They do not want to give that perfect form value. Uh, and they also don't want to take damage from it. Oh, Zenesis, a little bit of poke on Monk. That's it, Monk's still looking for yeah. it. Here comes the Maelstrom, oh, the KO's already there. What it's a, KO, a double the KO. Double? KO. Oh, this they can get, a, they can get an ace here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. Get the ace, get the goal. I'm, I'm just thinking so... Like, again, to make a League of Legends reference, it, it, we're playing Earth right now, essentially. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, a huge swing going to ATM's favor. Not not only just um, getting a massive experience lead from getting an ace, but also um, getting an advantage in terms of energy as well. Uh, Torchy's core flip not used to too much value, uh, and we actually see Torchy defend Monk's core flip as well. But uh, let's see what Armor's core flip can do here. Surely, oh. surely three out of three. He's walking up for it. Yeah, he want. He's... Oh, doesn't oh, get shift yet. It has to bail back. Time. And actually lets the top barrier fall, that's okay. That looked semi-intentional. It's not the worst in the world to drop that first. Ahmed's core flip at this stage, more likely than not, probably gonna be used defensively unless they push in front of that midfield line. Not feeling it just yet. Yeah, I mean, in a, in a 2v3, you have to be very conservative about, about your abilities and uh, ex extra conservative about that core flip, especially when there's an X staring down at you. Um, Torchy is back. Looks like he's uh, struggling to win a strike war against Zoralia. Actually has to ult and even loses that strike war, which is uh, not ideal. Uh, let's see if Monk can do any better against Zinnia. No. Oh. 
Uh, that's really, really unlucky. But a really, really good call flip. A, a critical call flip, really, just on the timing. And um, staggering Evralia as well, just so she can't get that call flip off early. Really, really nice dash into the strike ball. Um, I mean, LGBZ seems to have found their footing after that last game. Um, yeah, it really does seem like they're back on pace right now. And again, if LGBZ wins this match, well, then we go to Oni Village to decide it. So, uh, you know, it, 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 how does how does 3 a.m. sound if we go that late? Uh, either way, Torchy not able to put it through. That yeah, that is about as literal as an Oni prison as you can be. And KO I mean, on the top side, Zinnia and Zenesis. In a bit for, of trouble for, right now. For an only prison game, I think it's going to be much, much longer than 3 a.m. if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> with the way all these teams are playing, yeah, I, I'm kind of with you on that. Like, I'm already getting concerned with this one. Night Market can go quite long sometimes as well. Monk tries to put it up. Warns it to Zarelli instead. Ahmed everywhere to clear to. Go straight to Monk, who will dribble it for a bit. Just get some experience. Zenia has enough of that. Walks in between the branch, throws it back to the red side of the pitch. The Bewitching Beam kept it on the top side temporarily. Oh. KO on the other end, and it's another power play against Ahmed and Monk. Well, she just gets ping-ponged around, and now Ahmed is slowly losing skills in this uh, 2v3. Uh, he will almost have the call flip here, though. So he, he generates call flip with his primary, which is a, which is a fair trade, in my opinion. Uh, and Torchy is just back. Whew. That angle almost good. Giga Blast missed. So does the Maelstrom, actually. So the Zeds can step oh. forward. Core flips Aurelia, oh, no. top corner and in. It was a game of chicken, won by LGB Triple Z, and now they're one goal away from the first set. Yeah. Uh, everything that was said last game can be applied to this game. Uh, we really have to see that draft um, and see if uh, either team can generate a big enough of the lead. Um, but I really, I really think um, both teams are just playing so well. Like they're not getting scared by um, by anyone on the team, and they're just being like, "Hey, we can, we can mirror against you. We can play against you." Oh, really, really oh. nice positioning play with uh, with the ult from Torchy, but uh, a good KO and trade for Aralia oh. and a double touch by Zinnia. Oh this my goodness! And just through the primary, so Zinnia's just on another level today. I also think Zinnia was the catalyst for getting the KO onto Monk, who was sitting on Core Flip when they yeah. got it. Like that was insane, Zinnia hitting these moments, and now I'm seeing the quick strike. Oh, that does it! And tempo swing and yeah, one two is, punch. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I think I think you have to take quick strikes as yeah. an error. Yeah, that makes sense. And then the Kai has to deny tempo, uh, and then oh, this is looking pretty. This is looking pretty good for LGBZ right now. Yeah. Uh... I had the hot shot as well, like a bit of a sleeper pickup on Zenesis was still quite strong and Spark of Strength over Spark of Agility. I mean Spark of Strength over Built Different. Um yeah. I would have I would have thought that the size is uh, big, but I, I guess Torchy just wants to go for damage and he wants to go for the stack. He he has arrow to boost him up, uh, in terms of the speed and um And the size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I guess I guess he doesn't need either, he just needs power. That's a lot of reliance on a teammate, especially against what is going to be a very, very deadly Triple Z team. I feel like all the damage kind of went that way. We'll oh. see, though, how much they put into use. So already have one KO, but that's not slowing Monk and Ahmed down. I mean, again, so often we've been seeing Torchy get KO'd and still Monk and Ahmed. They're not playing as if they have a disadvantage. They're still playing just as confidently as they would otherwise. Yeah, I mean... Omega Strikers is just a game of confidence and focus, oh. and as soon as you- Oh my goodness, that was a, a, a slight positioning mistake <laughs> by Zinnia, but it's, it's okay. Aralia just trades a kill right back. And uh, we'll see what happens in the 2v2. Armored is playing so aggressively in a 2v2, oh my goodness. Uh, he does get back, thankfully, because of the, the, the speed gate, um, but loses the barrier to the Giga Blast from Kai. I think Ame is just a case again of the confidence in Torchy because you saw that entire time Torchy just had the two defenders being juggled almost with the, that little bit of crowd control. Now Torchy though is the one in trouble, will pick up the orb, but Zarelia is still looking to chase them down. Big swinging strike, kind of knocks Torchy about. Zinnia also has to be a little bit careful though. Monk was kind of winning trades right there. Awkward core bounce, goes out instead of in. Ahmed with the core flip, won't get the chance to use it. Zarelia will get the chance though to get the KO. And once again, it's going to be Monk and Ahmed versus the three. Zarelia oh. is low. Has to be a little bit cautious. Oh, I thought the Maelstrom was going to go backwards. That, that could have been the moment to take that risk. <laughs> like, 
We can really see uh, Monk's just not letting Aralia play the game. He has two charges on his primary and he's just using it on Ar Aralia every single time the cooldown comes up. Um, of course, the same can be said for Zinnia using it on Torchy. It's, um, this is it's such a cancerous mirror comp to watch. Oh, a really, really nice stagger by Aralia. Let's the core go through and hit the barrier. Um, we'll see what uh, what kind of uh, play... Oh, no. What? Oh, um, no. Zenesis, why? It was such a nice setup for the clicking. Now Torchy, a little bit ambitious on that headbutt right there. Zinnia has a core flip as well. Gonna go ahead and pop oh, it. Wow. Tries to take it down. The Bewitcher being doesn't hit. Torchy did get staggered. Had to go invasive, so no cooldowns. Could be a potential KO threat. Zerelia, though, rather dribble it. Almost goes straight into the swinging strike. There with the barrage, though, is the KO we are waiting to see. And now, once again, Dribble Zed versus Monk and Ahmed. We've seen this power play oh. so many times already this game. And again, it's just like running into a wall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh my goodness, he is just saying everything. Oh. oh my god, Ahmed, you gotta stop doing it to these people. <laughs> it's so close every time. You think this is surely gonna be the one, but it's not. Now Torchy dribbling it, wanted to get that strike. It says a core flick. Monk's gonna cut it off, though. Look to defend that middle of the field. Torchy gets staggered and shrunk. Now gets full strength, but it's still just getting absolutely swung around. Gets a bit of damage on Zenesis, but the core from Zinnia, it's just gonna go in. Top side of the net, 1-0. Favoring LGB triple set. Has Zinnia scored every goal? I believe so. No, I, there was one by Zarelli. No, Zarelli yeah. got the first. Yeah. Oh yeah, she got the uh, she got the wonky primary. Yes. Yes. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. Man, Zinnia is just such a force right now. Just double bewitching beam. Why not the use the full flip from the stagger? Like, this is. It's like, I, again, Zinnia has had like, you know, one or two moments of these per game, but it feels like Zinnia just has not switched off as the Maelstrom gets the KO onto the goalie. That's a 2-0 lead. Oh boy, LGB Triple Z, they want to go to Oni Village. These guys are just so hell-bent on not letting me sleep. <laughs> now, you got to go to Oni Prison, all right. Look, if you need to sleep, Oh, it's fine. You, you 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 don't need to go to the prison if that's where we're headed, okay? Oh, man, I'm always keen for the prison. <laughs> I love something about Oni Village. I, I love watching Oni Village games. I absolutely yeah. hate playing Oni Village games. I think it's just because the, the the pace of the game is faster. But I mean, really, look at these players. How fast can the pace get? Well, that's when we're gonna get you know something like stacks on stacks or another fight or flight game or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> on Oni Village. Actually, let's get, let's get Knife's Edge on Oni Village. <laughs> let's just make those, like, speed highways as fast as you could possibly get. Uh, oh. First, we got to get there, though, and I mean, look, we're not there yet. KO is going to help the cause for LGB Triple Z. Monk Hill has a core flip. We'll see how they use it. Oh, straight oh, in Zinnia. Goodness. There enough. Uh, second set goes this. to LGB Triple Z. <laughs> They're onto it. They've, um, they've picked up their slack, and... What awakening does Zinnia get here? Does she get cast last? She does not get cast last, but oh, there are so many good options here. Twin drive, fight or flight, take away stacks. Oh, fight or flight, it's gotta be fight or flight, right? I think she takes twin. Huh? Oh, stacks. she takes the stacks. That's the, uh, that's the solo carry build coming mm. along right there. Okay, well, fight or flight then. I mean, still falls to the X though, because Kai's not gonna pick it up. You know that specialized training is there, and actually that kind of works out in their favor. Granted, the twin drive going over to the blue side, not maybe ideal for L triple Z, but I think the big thing is spark of focus on Torchy. Not really that great when you compare the two X builds at the moment. No, I think that is one of the weaknesses of the uh, the spark build is that when you're playing with a couple sets down, you don't really have the, the time mm. uh, to, to build that, <sighs> that uh, spark. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah. Now this is this is turning into a bit of that one-sided affair we were talking about before. I love that Zinnia stealing the goal away. Even when Zarelia had it, Zinnia still has to hit the core with the Maelstrom to get the goal. It, it, not allowed. Zinnia needs to be MVP. Yeah, I mean, Zinnia and Aralia both got speed, and they're, they're just competing to see who's faster at this point. Um, oh. We can see, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's going to be yeah. an easy KO from yeah, Torquay right there. Kill. But oh, it's another much. double barrier hit from Zinnia. That's the second they've gotten this game on the power play against them, mind you. And Zinnia's not slowing up, still trying to stay behind the court. Just didn't quite have enough speed that time. Had the speed boost been up in the middle, they could have gotten there. Still going invasive to push forward. To face first, a Giga Blast, but it's still putting that core towards the net. Zinnia throwing around everywhere, but is staying on the play as Zarelia 
tries to win a strike war against Torchy, loses out, and now ATM, they're back on the offensive. They can't get that barrier down. And they just, they can't kill Zinnia. She's been alive for so long. The entire time, she's just been stagnant and running around, and somehow she's getting transported by the X oh. to go in all the right places. Uh, and Aralia actually dies from full health. Um, yeah, with that was the awful. help of specialized training by Kai. Oh, down to the lower end. The barrage keeps it in an awkward spot. Zidia oh. wins a big strike war. Gets staggered, but finds him on the core and her. pushes it to safety. Zidia still standing, but Torchy oh. scores the point. <laughs> At what point do you decide, I'm going to ignore this mosquito and just go for the goal? I, well, when the goal opens up, I suppose. I, I mean, that's what happened there. Torchy was just over it. I'm gonna get that point. Ooh, awkward start for ATM though. Immediate double barrier take once again for LGB Triple Z. Monk has to use a core flip just to pass it themselves to clear it out. Yeah, just Monk or Armor just not finding the right time to use the core flip to deny the pressure. Uh, and they lose double barriers because of it. Torchy does win a strike while it's oh. very, very critical, but unfortunately the click was slightly misplaced. Uh, and now the situation goes back to neutral and um, Air is gonna have all her abilities up very, very soon. There's the X abilities. Well, that's the first, and that's oh, when they yeah. can barrier down. This is actually pretty oh, good just... because Zarelia, yeah, is gone. Yeah, this is really uh, good. But the Maelstrom buys a bit of space as well. Zarelia had a core flip, didn't use it. Torchy gets that KO. Now Zenesis first the world, just oh. out of reach. Core goes in. What an in. accurate click. What an accurate a click. ATM now back to start their own little bit of a reverse sweep. Again, ATM can still stop a trip from Oni Village if they win three sets in a row. They're one goal away from the first. We can really see here just um, the the plays of both teams. Uh, they're, they're not getting phased by the other team. They're just doing what they need to do. Um, oh, oh, Torchy just pounding away right there. I love Torchy's been winning a lot of these battle X battles recently, actually against Genesis, uh, against sorry Zarelia, which hasn't been the case earlier in this one. A little bit surprised by that now, Zinnia. Oh, it's going to be protected by oh. Big Sister Zarelia this time around. Let's see what Zidia can do. Ah, oh, down, but not in. Uh, Torchy actually used to burn the flip over nothing just to stay oh. alive, and Zinnia just taps it in with the quick strikes and the stacks. I mean, you really you really have to focus damage on her at this point. She has stacks, quick strikes. You, you cannot allow her to run all over your team like that. No, you cannot. Here we go. Tie game to all. But... I mean, the sets speak an entirely different story. We are one goal away from a trip to Oni Village or one goal away from staying in the night market looking for some more sweet deals. Either way, Monk Geistro, take it down low. Has a core flip available on this era as well. We'll see if they use it actually to secure this second barrier. They're going to go for it, but the shot goes low. Whoa. It doesn't matter. There's another KO on Zarelia. That's been the fourth of this set. And now let's see if they can get this barrier. Uh... Zinnia is just avoiding so much damage. Oh my goodness. She finally gets KO'd, which is actually huge here for um for ATM. Even if they come back, Zinnia's not gonna have that amazing amount, like amazing ridiculous speed. But let's see what they can do here at the 2v3. Torchy is low. Uh he is forced to just use all his abilities in hopes that he can come back Got in time. The KO, and he though. actually KOs the Oh, but the they defense do? holds. Zenesis and Zinnia each back up, each defending it. As it's a little bit of a dribble, dribble through that corner. Zinnia under a lot of pressure. It's a game of chicken. And it's one that's won by Zenesis, who's had enough of it. Maelstrom doesn't clear the pathway. Torchy still beating up, but it's that triple Z defense that oh. does so much work. Zorelia finally gets revenge, gets the KO, forces the corn flip. Ahmed straight down the middle, nearly snuck it through. As Aurelia again, oh, oh, can't get into Zenia. Those are some awkward bounces. Tough to read. The Maelstrom, though, nearly takes out Monks. Aurelia opens up the goal. Core flip oh. on Zinnia. That could be the moment. There it is. Shot up to Zorelia, but Ahmed makes the save with the barrage. I mean, you can just see how how calm. Oh, <gasps> oh my. The bewitching beam. And again, it's Zinnia. Just has the nose for the goal. She has been on point, and she has taken us to Oni Village. Let's go to prison. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> all night long. We're just gonna play all night long. That's what I mean. Look, everyone plays all night long, anyways, right? Like that's what I mean, happens. So you just let's just stream it. Let's do it. Seven golds out of the nine from Zinnia on that one. Twelve KOs from Torchy. Not enough to bring it back.
I just crazy could game. not believe that they held out for that long. There were so many instances where I was like, okay, Zinnia dies here. Okay, Zinnia dies here. LGBZ gets scored on here. LGBZ, oh my God. Uh, that game was something. That game was something. <laughs> that was a great one. And now we're going to Oni Village Official. All right, what do you think about this quote? SBMV, the counter to Triple Z is Juno era. Cool, so heading into Oni Village. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I thought. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, All righty. Yeah, I think this is going to be fun. I I'm curious what awakenings we're going to get. What is the perfect Oni Village awakening? I think it's Knife's Edge. I I'm, I'm hoping for a yeah, Knife's Edge. <laughs> knife's Edge, stacks, um, just movement-based awakenings to keep up with the core and the speed lane, I think is quite critical. Um, obviously, the, the usual suspects, extra special um tempo swing yeah tempo swing why not um this is actually a map where uh i feel like tempo swing is not as good oh wow ashes and taro ban what were the awakenings <laughs> i actually yeah what what, what? was it quick would, would quick strike be an awakening um i mean asha and zentaro maybe uh Oh, I have no idea. But um, is are we are we finally going to see it? Armit has locked in the oh. AI me. Wow! After sixteen games of not being able to see this, uh, Monk we also got the Juliet finally as well in this final. Yeah. But the Dubu also is going to come out on that other side for Zinnia. Like this is going to be, you know, a lot of players on some of their best Aryan Genesis on that Dubu. Zinnia actually on the forward Kai. Yeah, oh, I mean this is this is hard. this is pretty much just the all-star team. Uh we actually see strike shot Dubu coming out from Zanasis, trying to keep the core away from Julie before it ever ever gets to her. Uh, and, and the Super starting Surgeon. awakenings. Super yeah. Surgeon Prime Time. They were the awakenings on that. So I, I mean I guess yeah, people wanting to avoid the super surge, I guess, or or, on, or I guess primetime Asher as well could be like very strong on strike wars. Yeah. Um, we can just see like both both awakenings just very very powerful. Um, we're definitely going to see a lot of uh, puff off moments, I think. Um, Monk chose uh, chooses to go for slick kicks instead of any other Julia awakening, which means um, hmm. that's a lot of that's a lot of faith in Torchy to get the core over to her. Armor's just saving oh. everything. Armor, yeah, and then all of a sudden just going forward and looking again for that turret. Uh, secure, not going to get it this time around. Yeah, I I'm with you on that. It it's either. You know, needed the movement speed to get forward, or just trusting the team to actually get the damage down, also to help set yeah. up those KOs. I, I don't. Either way, we'll see how that does play out at the moment. Torchy has core flip, but the goal is open for LGB Triple Z Zerelia in the middle is able to sidestep the punch kick, but loses control of the core in the process. Now the core flip coming out from Torchy, saved oh. by Zenesis on the line. Nice try from Torchy. Uh, Aralia actually forced to stay up and play aggressive to the core flip. Uh, is rewarded for it, but unfortunately the, the goal does not happen, and now she has no elusive and she's <laughs> stuck between three people. Uh, Staying alive though, and it's drawing a lot of attention, and yeah, there absolutely. hasn't been any threatening touches back against LGBZ as they've been looking for the KO. Monk Geistro is going to get it, uses the core so flip. So many to use the skills power used to kill that um, one striker, and... If, uh, if Monk went Pummelin's there, that ulti kills. He, he has to burn the flip as well, and he also doesn't get the movement speed from there. So I think I think Slicks is a questionable choice, but we're only questioning it because we haven't seen the uh, the good side of it. So if Monk can make it happen, uh, who knows? Oh my god, Ooh. okay. That is an insane read. That, <laughs> that was, I, again, it was Slick, wasn't, and it was a kick. It wasn't because of the slick kicks. Yeah, but no, it no, 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 no. out. Now with both goals open, Zorelia's just going to dunk it through. So the first one goes to LGB Triple Z. I, I think um, I think it's cool to see Torchy and Monk switch up the, uh, the classic midfield and scorer positions that they've been maintaining so far. Obviously, Oni Village, a, a map where both uh, strikers can sort of switch in and out. Um, especially on strikers like Kai, where they, they have a lot of that force. But um, mm. we'll, we'll see how it works out so far, because uh, they haven't really been successful in their offense so far. And oh. Arm is just saying, you know what, I'll just do it myself. It's okay. Yeah, that was a bit of a misstrike from Zenesis, and now Torchy with the pressure can't get it to Monk. Zinnia was in the way. Giga Blast tries to create some space. The barrage doesn't get past Monk this time around, so it's still ATM with possession. Ahmed, uh, I love that jump forward, insta pop back. It's a Skubuki moment. Core flip used very 
prematurely from Ahmed. A bit of a misplay. Now Zinnia looking to kind of force it through with the barrage. Will yeah. get that goal. And LGB triple Z. They're up 2-0. Just the snowball from using that um, core flip too preemptively without without that ability is uh, very very hard to block a Kai barrage as an IME. Yeah, that was you know the, the snowball effect as it was quick barrier take from Zarelia out of the gates and this is looking very good now for LGB Triple Z. I mean they have been controlling the most of this game. That said, here comes Ahmed finding a barrier back on the other side. That man with Super Surge will just traverse halfway through the map. I was, um, oh wow, that's a, just a quick barrier. I, I guess that is the downside of um, playing someone. Oh my goodness, they actually won the Strike War against him and Torchy still flipped. Um, that, that is definitely the downside of Imi Goalie where um, if, if there is someone forcing in front of you, uh, there, there really isn't much you can do compared to, a, say, a Dubu or an Atlas uh, in the same position. We are also seeing, you know, Zenesis on that Dubu showing why you use it because you can just shut down those speed highways uh, pretty much whenever your cooldowns are down. Nothing is getting through that end, although this time the rollout was used a little bit prematurely. Oh. Uh, Monk able to get that second barrier, so both goals open. Again, LGB triple set has a core flip for Zarelia. It's a game of chicken, and it's oh. won by Torchy, who steals it away. The blop! Oh, not quite there. Ahmed trying to jump in. Zarelia has to avoid the punch, now looking to kind of get on this core. It goes so fast along those corridors. That was a really, really nice uh, strike core attempt by oh. Zinnia, and she's going for it Ooh. again. Uh, Armin actually builds the flip and immediately has to use it here. Uh, the core going really, really fast. It's an OT. Arm is jumping in, and um, wow. Zenesis core flip, something to be mindful of on that Dubu. Giga Blast doesn't create the space. Aurelia looking to force it through that top side. Zenesis swings and misses on the strike, has to burn the core flip to make the save. Torchy now starting to push forward versus Zinnia. Neither barrage available, still through the middle of the pitch. Zinnia should get their barrage first. Pendulum tries to keep it forward. Torchy there, barrage misses, doesn't matter. Oh. The goal is found, and LGB Triple Z take the first set. And I think that was a pretty convincing first set as well. Um, I really didn't see Zenesis get under much pressure there from uh, the Kai or the Julie at all. Other than the uh, amazing, amazing dash punch angles that uh, Monk got. That man's an artist with his dash punches. All right. Well, stacks on stacks is going to be the first take for Zarelia. Missile Propulsion, though, for Ahmed on that AI me. So not only can they jump super far, but they can fire very far as well. Cast the last, dropping all the way down. More movement speed for Zinnia. Could be spooky. The Stagger Swagger as well. Some defense on Kai. One, two punch going last. I, I guess Julius the only one who uses it, but that still feels wrong to me. <laughs> uh, I... I I, I see where the one-two punch comes in. Uh, obviously, it is one of Julie's best awakenings. You can you can just see how, like how much damage it did, it did to Aralia. But I think overall, uh, LGBZ got a much better yes. draft. Uh, just getting the getting the cast last on the Kai, getting the stacks on the um, on the Rasmus just means like these uh, these forwards have so much more speed and um, so much more maneuver maneuverability around the map, which is so important on Oni Village. Yeah, but we'll see how they use it again. The first goal opens up on that other side. We'll see if they come together. Monk Astro has a chance to throw it up to Torchy, but instead goes down low. So we don't see the goal come through just yet, Torchy. Keeping it up high. Oh, Ahmed, surprise, does a lot of damage as well. And it's just an easy strike roar for Torchy. Gets the read on Zenesis. First point goes to ATM. Yeah, I mean, Strike Shot Dubu is going to be amazing at defending that, that last barrier. But as soon as that last barrier falls, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to keep up with these uh, other strikers. Uh, really, really nice dash punch from Monk, just getting the first barrier. And oh, what an angle. <laughs> Sets up Torchy perfectly right there to hit it with the barrage. And now, once again, ATM on the hunt. They found two goals, two quick goals, mind you. This is the Oni Prison speed run right now for ATM. I mean, Monk just really showed up, just dash punching to get the first barrier, dribbling into the core flip, and then that insane pixel angle that he got. Um, yeah, that was really, really, that was really, really amazing. And now, as I think it's Armour's turn, time to shine. No, nope, nah. he decides to back out. Fair yeah, enough. The rollout, fair enough. the rollout was just perfectly placed for his innocence. It's not really much Ahmed could do right there. Top yeah. barrier is going to fall. No attempt made to save it. As oh, that's an awkward hook. Caught by Zarelia, able to steal the way. Torchy has to use the core flip to get it back to the red side of the pitch, but even then, Zarelia is there first, and the pressure continues. Finally, it's through the use of Monk's special that ATM gets any oh. semblance of control, and they get that second barrier. This, th these super surge, truly dash punches are amazing. Uh, 
<laughs> he's he's finding ridiculous clear clear angles and just blocking them off with a dash. Uh, we, we can actually see here LGPZ playing a, a little bit more slower. Uh, they're, they're a lot more determined to get that core across the other Ooh. side, and then they're playing with intensity when they can. Um, yeah, they're looking for it. I mean, I feel like every time Zinni has been using that barrage offensively, it's been getting closer and closer to the net. Zarelia on the cross-up, not quite able to punch it through. Torchy and Monk now gets a good chunk of damage on Zinni, actually. Core flip up top, what oh an angle! My <laughs> Monk's cooking. He's, he's been on midfield duty the entire night, and now he gets Julian. He's like, all right, I can finally start playing the game again. Yeah, it looks good while doing it. So we're going to be a 1-1 one, one on this one. Quick strike. Yeah, that's going to be a quick pickup as well. I mean, it, it, I like big fish here, but as, at the same time, you got to go quick strike. Uh, I, I would have loved to see Demolitionist, honestly, from the Julie. <laughs> uh, being able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, and just go dash, punch, dash, punch, that would have been really, really cool to watch. Um, oh, I think we might see up. We might see something similar with the barrages, though, instead uh, at the moment, because I mean, the barrage has been the most effective, I think, pushing tool we've seen so far this game. So I'm going to be curious to see if Torchy can get that going in their favor. Yeah, I mean, it's the reason why Kai Forward is meta on this map. Um, it, it's, I mean, it's one of the only reasons why Kai Forward is meta in general is because you can play on this map, shove to a corner and barrage, and it's really, really, really difficult to get that call back out. Um, so far though, it's really just been Monk being like, all right, don't worry about it. I got this. I got my dash punches ready. Um, and the the slick kicks really providing him with a lot more dribble, um, just being able to hit the core and then hit it again and uh, get a barrier or two. Well, well, we'll see if Monk will be set up right now. At the moment, it is kind of more under LGB Triple Z's control until Ahmed again will be the one to jump forward to try and break it up. Straight down the middle though, Giga Blast was red. Torchy keeps it up high at the moment, gets behind them, and Ahmed will go to the lower end as Zenesis makes that first strike. But here comes Ahmed and Coco Flip from Torchy. Gets the second barrier down. So He's remember the demo. He's got primary back up. There we go. That's just straight down and in. One nil for ATM. I mean, Torchy just primaries it into the barrier and then primaries it into the goal. Oh my god. I love that awakening. Um, I think that is quickly shaping up to be one of my favorite awakenings to, to watch as well as to play. Um, yeah, you have to be good at the game though to use it like that. And I think there should be more awakenings that reward good play. What a kick punch from Monk. That was midfield. This guy. <laughs> that was pretty slick. Here we go. One nil in favor again. Now with the power play, Torchy gets it down low. Monk, preemptive punch, gets the oh, barrier. Torchy the has all his abilities back up. In. He's got all his abilities back up. He's just going to push with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ahmed was oh really, really nice damage it. onto Julie there. Um, <laughs> Good defense by Zanesis, and uh, do they have enough? No. Nope, they do not. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Monk just cutting that one off perfectly placed, and all of a sudden, ATM again, another quick one. One goal away from going to what could be their final set. And then you see a reverse sweep from LGB Triple Z if they're going to get back in this one. As Aurelia gets the first barrier quite easily. That's not been the problem. It has been Ahmed's defense on that lower barrier that they've been struggling to get through. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think the 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 hidden MVP is just Ahmed is just every single time the core gets into an unfavorable position where the Kyle the Julie can't get to it, he'll just dash in and he'll just use all his abilities. Really, really nice offense coming out. Uh, really, really good offensive dubu wall. Oh my god, the triple goalieing um, yeah. is not enough. It's not enough. Uh, LGBC actually had enough force in that power. It was the barrage. The barrage does it again. The pushing power of these guys has been the difference maker in the Oni prison thus far. Zinnia able to get their first in the set. Still going to need another one, though, to make that last point interesting. No core flips readily available. Monk, though, is close and is on the hunt. So now with that core flip, how tried to just brute force. I was ready for the kick punch, but they tried for the flip approach instead. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think um, a very important thing to do is to vary your core flip timings. Mm -hmm. um, Monk's been delaying his core flips, watching the reactions. And um, for that one, he just decided to gamble and go straight. But LGBZ, uh, LGBZ is ready for that. Here we go, LGBZ, keeping all three defenders back. Now Zarelia, the one with the core flip. Oh, good doesn't swing from Aurelia. Use it, but oh. they do, and it doesn't make contact. That was a bit of a misplay from the Triple Z. I mean, I, I think that was more of the uh, amazing defense from Torchy and Armor, mm -hmm. just being able to respond so quickly to that uh, Rasmus hook and then just defend effectively. Yeah. 
And now really Ahmed has the core flip as well, going to use it to go down low, cut off by Zarelia. Zinnia there as well. Has the barrage still, doesn't opt to use it just as yet. Core flip from Torchy with the turret. Actually doesn't oh, get the barrier, but they do get the KO. Now the barrier falls. Torchy has dinner. Monkey is forward and too much crowd control means Torchy gets the goal. Um, all things considered, a pretty quick set three um, going to ATM here. Let's see what awakenings they get. I think that's my least favorite Kai skin. Oh. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to say it. Just I'm take not... the chrono? Ooh, yeah, I think. Yep, chrono. Well, there's the knife's edge. And that's going to fall to this Julie. Yeah. Which is going to be even more speed and even more pushing power for ATM. Giving the extra special to Aimee because you don't want to give the twin drive seems like a very big lose-lose situation. Um, obviously, both Awakening is really, really powerful for Aimee Goalie, but if I was the Dubu in that situation, I think I'd prefer the extra special over the twin drive, but we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. I, I, I've been proven wrong. I, I'm, I'm currently being proven wrong by mm. the Slick Kicks Julie, so... Um... Yeah, Slick Kicks Julie has actually been impressive. Well, now they got so much speed as well on top of it with that knife's edge whenever they opt to go down there as... First barrier falls for ATM, but at the moment it has been LGB Triple Z with the better start this time around. That turret, though, doing such a good job zoning so much of it away. Body slam from Genesis didn't create enough space required. Yeah, a lot of I damage, mean, not a lot of barriers falling. Armored can just rotate that skill out so much faster, but it, it doesn't matter if Genesis can just hold behind them. Oh, really nice elusive by Armored just then. Um, I mean, this guy's just the king of defense. And in, in positions like those, he will just read every single play that's going to happen. Yeah, really, really nice. Six cents. Yep. You had for reaction times like that. You have to be expecting it. You have to know it's coming through. And yeah. Ahmed just just nails it. The game sense on point. Core flip from Zarelia. KO oh my. as well. All of a sudden, LGB Triple Z. They're in trouble. As Zarelia keep away with the hook. Nearly bounces into an awkward position. Down it goes. Torchy can't control. Oh, nice skip. Oh, but a big my. kick punch returns the favor. <laughs> Barrage upper corner, not in yet. Zinnia dribbling to themselves. I mean, she, they have oh, potential here. Oh. And Damn. Ahmed thought core flip as well. It was always going to be a tough goal in that situation. I think the um, what the eventual goal was is to burn the core flip of uh, of Ahmed mm. there, but um, well, now she just burned. <laughs> back up uses the primary, has demo, uses primary again to get the core in position. Has a, has another Ooh. primary because he has prime time. Why not? Oh. Zenia, wait, oh. what? It's the Giga Blast to open the doorway. Zarelia puts it through. First goal goes to LGB Triple Z. Yeah, I mean you can just see Zinnia and Aralia. They're they're on the same wavelength every single time. I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure that these two have the best synergy out of any like two forwards um, in our in our entire region at the moment. They play together. I mean, again, this team, LGB Triple Z, they've had so many ups and downs on these Monday Night Mondays. I don't want to call them the least uh, consistent because two glasses of milk exists, but like they have been so close to kind of like getting one of these deep results. Monk though with the stuff, <laughs> King Punch puts it through. I'm sorry, where did the two glasses of milk slander come from? <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, they have the most varied results out of every single theme, I feel like, in the uh, out of the regulars of the Monday Night Mondays. Uh, yeah, that's that's very true. That's very true. Um, like, that's all I'm saying. Like, they could look... Th one week, they're getting top fours and nearly getting to the finals. The next, they're out in, in the pools. They're, they're out in the shallow end. Like, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Oh. They're tough to read. They're tough to read. Yeah, that's definitely one way I used to describe uh, the individual players in Two Yes, they are, they are, they are hard to read. Uh, wow, that's a, I mean, just the the two barriers being taken there. That was very, very convincing. Um, hey, I, I stand by it. Coach Et was the best coach at the Coachable Cup. All right, I stand by that. Here we go. Two to one though. LGB Triple Z starting to come back in this. Maybe a chance to take us to Game Five. Azarelia uh, actually goes to the top side. Zinnia is going to help get that first one. The barrage misses from Torchy, but it's not going to matter much. As Ahmed with core flip available, we'll see if they have to use it prematurely. They do, oh. but it's stuffed. And now all of a sudden, LBG Triple Z, they're one goal away, one good touch away from taking us to a fifth set in the. I guess you could call it a fourth or a fifth game. I'm not sure term, what the proper term would be, but it would be a final set to determine it all. Aralia has call flip, she hits it. Ooh. And just threading the needle on that. Um, really just one of the most accurate players in the server. 
Especially on Rasmus, a character that's so reliant on fundamentals, if you can just get an angle like that, it's it's over. It is over. Here we go. Fine. I wonder what she goes for here. A fight or flight? I'm not sure. Lock yeah, fight or flight, hot shot maybe? Fight or flight. Fight or flight, yeah, yeah. That, that seems to be the go. Timeless creator though, already onto this AI me who again, uh, has the extra special, has the missile propulsion. So I feel like we're gonna see a lot of map pressure coming from ATM right at the start of every single one of these. Yeah, 100%. Um, and again, everyone gets what they want except Dubu. Dubu has been forced to deny the tempo swing, the specialized training, the twin drive, and now he just gets gets the uh, the runt uh, with the reverb. Although I guess there there are worse awakenings to uh, to get as a as a Dubu player. Yeah, there will be as we kind of see some pressure down on that bot side. The turret doesn't quite hit its mark on that barrier. We'll see what I'll make it do up top as Zarelia actually loses out on that battle. Let's see what Zinnia down the lower end as well can't quite. Get the clearance that they need. Barrage for Barrage. Torchy wins out. The Giga Blast doesn't force it just, just yet. Very, very tentative start right now. Both teams using a lot of abilities trying to force it through, but the defenses are holding. Yeah, I definitely think a, a lot of skills are being committed to the midfield and the, uh, not enough are being saved to actually contest the goalie, especially when Xenasis is so close to Corpse with an arm and has his... Um... Yeah, we'll see. Torchy. Core flip, upper corner. I somehow found the gap around both the rollout and that hook, but wasn't able to get it quite to the barrier just yet. Monk still waiting for that big kick punch moment there. It was close. Core flip. Oh, no, oh. we're safe to put it. Throws oh, it to a teammate. Wow. What a pass. The timing on point. And ATM opened up that goal for the first score. Yeah, and Tor Torchy is uh, using his abilities to push because he, he just trusts some Monk to get the core um, inside the goal. Um, Monk. Oh, the special pass up. Not quite there. Let's see what Torchy can do. Dribbling it to themselves. Now back down. Monk just watches oh. Torchy intercept and put it away. First goal goes to ATM. Really nice movement. Um, we can actually see here. Torchy just has so much move speed from Stagger Swagger, Chrono Boost, and now now he has so much cooldown reduction with Hotshot and Demo as well. Um, it, it really does feel like they're getting oh. outmaneuvered by Torchy. Oh. oh, no. Oh, remember we were talking about how you make one mistake and then all of a sudden everything seems to fall apart? Well, that's kind of what happened to Ahmed on that point right there. The goal is scored with a turret and with the core flip available after Ahmed took out the first barrier. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, this is final set, final game. Oh, really, Ooh. really nice wait by Monk there. Um, I wonder what this core flip is going to be from Ahmed. I mean, you always want it to be an aggressive one, right? You you want Ahmed to be diving forward, but instead they'll use it defensively right into the kick punch. Oh, that was tricky. Zinnia, though, does see through. Eventually, the bomb barrier still falls. Yeah, it does work out, getting a barrier. Um, lost the top one quite earlier. Uh, Torchy actually has to use his primary to gain core control off Zinnia. And uh, we see ATM getting forced into the defensive here. Torchy does have his flip, and Monk is about to get his as well. Uh, Zinnia Ooh. also one tap away. Aralia just really, really nice movement across um, the, the barrier. Gets Claims that one for herself really quickly. The Dubu strike shot misses, and now we're just in a standstill with every single core flip in the game up. Yeah, this is insane. I think we're going to see something kind of crazy here, although Monk Kind of looks like they burned those early. Zarelli's going to get there. Torchy with the first score flip. Get Zinnia's. Oh. And that's going to go on the top side of the net. Here we go. Match point for LGB Triple Z. One goal away from winning three in a row to take this grand final. And Aralia has call flip up. She's ready. She's hungry. She can feel the win. Oh, let's see what they can bring. Uh, nothing nothing better than a turret into a Dubu wall. That that was beautiful. First barrier is going to fall courtesy of Zinnia. Core flip's already been used, though. Zenesis still has theirs. Where will the Dubu use it forward? Body slam doesn't use the flip, though. Instead, nice trying to stun by Dubu there, just to keep the core in neutral position. Uh, we can actually see that Aurelia is just playing a little bit passive, trying to build up a little bit more. Oh. Stacks of all the second barrier. Oh, this could be it. Zenesis again has the core flip. Zarelia tries to go down low. Ahmed has their flip as well, so it's gonna have to try and get rid of that first as barriers start to fall on the other side. Top half down. Monk Geistro should have the kick punch, but it's just stuffed by the Dubu wall. Rollout keeps it up high. Torchy as well held up, but Zarelia has been forced staggered. He's able to get out of it, and they force out Ahmed's core flip as well. Zarelia lets it that ride. There's it. the That's barrage, it. and there's the goal. Zinnia wins it for LGB Triple Z. Wow. Um, 
I actually can't believe that this game came to game four, last point, and they score using, you know, the old reliable. Zinnia just uses Kai primary and just gets it through. Yeah, able to force that one in. Crazy series when you look at it. All four games, we went to that fifth set. I'm a little sad we didn't get the 2-2 two, two set five. Uh, but <laughs> at that same token, I mean... I mean, what, what's one more goal at this stage, right? I, either way, LGB, Triple Z, they went through so much adversity to come out on this one. Again, Zenesis apparently incredibly sick, still out there pulling off plays. Zinnia looked better than I've ever seen her uh, in one of these Monday Night Mondays. Uh, even, you know, Zarelia, when, when she wasn't being hard-focused down, when she was allowed to cook, also just on point throughout, the X Games were near immaculate. Like, it was fantastic yeah 100 percent um you, you just saw how confident zinnia was tonight um just winning every single strike or going for those like really high risk plays and getting rewarded for it uh it was really really cool to see it was great now i don't know if they're still wanting to do interviews because what was it's nearly 3 a.m for you right now like um i, I don't know people on the east coast it's nearly 1 a.m uh for them so we'll see if interviews are happening uh cool uh, they'll be quick uh, i promise i'll try to make them as quick as possible because people probably want to go to sleep although the adrenaline's uh going to be pumping out there either way though mvp who would be your take my, my, i'm leaning towards zinnia on this one. Oh, I'd, I'd have to lean towards zinnia as well um just the the amount of clutch plays she got uh especially in those 2v3 situations um and she she just had absolute confidence that she could score on armored as well which um i think resulted in a lot of goals being happening yeah i think it, it does look like interviews are going to be happening as well aurelia wants in and i want aurelia in here as well i want it in. i mean you you just won probably the longest money night mondays yet i think you deserve to get interviewed right that that that, it seems like it would make sense to me. That, that, that's how yeah, I see absolutely. It. Um, is that happening? It, it is. It is. It's, I, I, it's coming. Links have been sent. Players should be jumping on momentarily. Uh, and then we will get in into that. At least Aurelia. I don't know how many. All I know is I think at least three. I, I'd like to see her from all three, but let's see. I think um, Zenesis might... Well, okay, yeah, we might not have Zenesis. We might have, that's a good point. We might not have Zenesis. That's actually smart, smart, smart there. Oh, man. As we wait to see who will be jumping on. It, it's suspenseful, right? Um, uh, I'm just trying to think right now. Like, this is the first uh, LGB Triple Z win, I think, in a Monday Night Monday. They finally uh... come through. From from the original team members, yeah, um, having L LGBZ, yeah, I think I think it is their first win because Aurelia has won one before with a different team. Uh, they, they, they Aurelia won. and Aurelia and Zinnia have won with Kruha, I believe in Monday yes. Night Mondays three. Yeah, um, yes, yes, yes. Hi. Uh, but it's the first time we saw Zenith go through. Uh, hello, it looks like uh, it looks like the team has joined us now. So everyone has just kind of piled in. I see Zinnia, I see Zenesis, I see Aurelia. Uh, I also see a bunch of muted mics. Either way, I I'm still going to start this interview. First of all, congratulations on that win. Just saying it's the first time the core lineup of LGB Triple Z has gotten that victory. How good does it feel to get the monkey off the shoulders? Oh, That's right. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, dude. I mean, that, that seems to be like a common trope. Because again, like, it, it's been these awkward moments where you guys have been coming in looking great up until you run into a barrier where everything seems to fall apart. But this time you had to kind of work through that adversity. Was there just something different in the air tonight? Was it, you know, wanting to make an incredible performance because your goalie is sick? Like, what made tonight different? You know, I actually think what really made the difference is our goalie throwing up before the tournament and then our uh our striker also uh almost passing out and being dizzy before the tournament i think that really like yeah i know he passed down 10 minutes before the start of the i think that me. really like brought us above and i think you know i it, it really is the core like mindset of zzz is because i mean some of you may not know back in beta we had a wonderful tournament with dandy uh, our, our the original zzz member rest in peace uh who was had coven and basically died during the tournament 
and we still, I think, got like second. So you know, I think that's just how it's easy it works. All right. So so does that mean you know before you know the, this next tournament happening um, in a couple of weeks time, or actually less than a week's time now, the uh, that's gonna be a fun one. Are you just gonna be like stay up all night out in the rain, get yourself as sick as possible to prepare? Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. If it works, it works. I'll be throwing up in between sets. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I, if it works, it works. I, uh, Tox, do you have any questions? Um, not really. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, um, what, what did you think about Monk's uh, Slick Kicks pick on Oni Village? What did he uh, For what? On, um, Oni. In the last game? Yes, yeah. in the last game. I mean, me and Zinio it's... always played double slicks on Oni. Yeah, just I think just... Not having Depending, speed there yeah. feels so genuinely terrible. Depending mm. on and with his build, who I mean... has the core, it's just... You need someone in the corner with slicks at all times. And yeah. to be able to switch who's in there is really helpful. All right. I actually want to kind of ask you, Aurelia, about the Oni Village pick as well, because like no matter what, if we were going to Oni Village, it was going to be late. It was going to be that fatigue match. And Oni Village comes with that aura of being the games that always go super long, always go super late. Was that intentional? Were you banking on maybe some fatigue coming through when you selected it? Or is it just a map that you guys are comfortable with? Dude, I think we're the most tired out of anyone in that finals. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's just our best map or like a second best yeah. map after Alton City. So. Fair enough. I mean, that does make sense, and you did perform. Uh, the other question I had, because Tox and I were having this, uh, I don't want to say it was an argument. We were having a discussion about it uh, on what is the most annoying awakening that everybody kind of has to take. And you did have that perfect form game. Delete Timber Swing, like... delete Timber Swing, delete Timber Swing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> All right, okay. there we go. That's not awakening. Get it out, actually. So you'd rather the uh, perfect form game over the Tempo Swing game? Fully. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Timber Swing is a genuine just abomination to, to game design. I, I could go on for hours about how this Awakening just makes the game so miserable if a single, like, ever, to put it in perspective, every single time we got a wait, we got Timber Swing first draft when we were first pick, we were, we genuinely popped off in VC. Okay, cool. We just kind of <laughs> like won the game. Sick. Actually, that, that's a big question too, because I believe it was the, um, I don't, was it the second or the third map talks where uh, you guys jumped out to the early 2-0 lead in the mirror match and you just weren't getting those right awakenings for X and then all of a sudden the first set uh, ATM oh, wins, they dude. get the tempo swing oh, on the X. That, and that, what was, was the morale like after that? It was that the moment? Austin City game. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that game, I was like, I think at the start of set four, I was literally like, okay guys, I cannot kill a single person anymore. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally uh, verbatim comms. <laughs> and yet, yeah, I mean, you came through. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm the best player to ever touch the game. It's like natural. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, on that mode, because Tox and I did both agree, actually, Zinnia, you kind of got our caster MVP award for, for that series oh. at the end right there. I mean, it, it looked like that was some of the best Omega Strikers you have played on stream in a mm. while. Uh, in a hot, hot minute. How are you going to be looking to carry that momentum then, you know, into next week, into... Uh, I, why is the name... It's too late. The name is slipping me. You know, Strikers, Strikers Cup, Cup five. 5, that one. Yeah, how are you going to carry that momentum into that? Uh, I'm going to keep picking Era and Kai and <laughs> abuse the fact that there are, there's too much speed and just walk at people and press the left <laughs> click and it's going to be great. Uh, that fair. sounds pretty synonymous about what we've seen so far. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. I'll, I'll leave it to you guys then. Again, congratulations. Any final words before we can send everyone off to bed happy? <laughs> Special shout out to Ken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not happening, guys. <laughs> Unfortunate that he's misbehaving right now, but we haven't got him neutered yet. Apology. Hey. <laughs> Maybe if we win strike this called five. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Well, is that a pledge? Yeah. Maybe. That a, that's better be your promise. Okay. There you go. All right. I, I think I think we gotta let gotta let him go to sleep, man. And being sick sucks. And a big thank you uh, for competing. And again, one last time, congratulations on that win. Uh, putting it away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you.
Thank you. And also a thank you to everyone who tuned in and stayed up late to watch this one all the way to its conclusion. It was a long night. It was a crazy night. Uh, all the casters who stepped in as well. Um, obviously, talks jumping in. Mirror, Derizian uh, did a great job holding down the fort on their way here while I took an extended dinner break. Sorry, not sorry. I got to do it. Uh, any final words, talks before we can kind of get out of here? Uh yeah, catch um catch me beating ZZZ in Strike Scout Five. No, no, there it is, shots fired. Um, also, a special, a special, special, special. Before I forget, uh, Taboo Babu doing admin tonight. You know, in place of Snoo coming in first time, new format, just thrown into the deep end. Uh, did a great job, our producer Iris as well. Thank you all of you to watching. I'm tired. You can probably hear it in my voice. Let's go to sleep, everybody. I'm sure we're going to raid someone cool anyway. So good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>